Why do I paint with my own blood? Art is an extension of the self, is an expression of the self, but also a way of acting out in external form what is beneath the fabric of your own consciousness um, and your subconscious. I usually look at when I'm either painting or drawing or enameling or tattooing, um, I usually think of not me putting something on the canvas or me making something or me creating shadow uh, to display uh, to to display a form or to take something that I see externally and put it onto the paper or onto the canvas to be a representation of that. I view when I draw and paint as scratching away the surface of the canvas or the paper in an extension, scratching away the surface of my conscious mind to reveal my subconscious. Because there's a whole lot that we're trying to figure out in our subconscious. There's a whole lot. That's kind of where a lot of things sit, where we're always trying to get access to that so we can figure out what we truly have to deal with what we're not looking at, because what we're looking at inwardly, what we're looking at mentally, is there's so much more to a human being and who we are than that. And there's also so much more that we need to deal with, and there's so much more beauty and wonder to discover in there as well that we can show the world, first ourselves, but then the world. That's why I view myself as taking away the, the uh, top soil layer of my conscious mind, as it were, when I draw or when I paint. So when I paint with my own blood, it's, I don't, it wouldn't be as, a, it wouldn't be as important to me if it was somebody else's or if it was an animals or anything like that. I wouldn't do that. Um, I'm vegetarian. Going back to being vegan, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I was vegan for two years, a few years back, but anyway, uh, a lot of that has to do with, you know, animals suffer, suffering in dairy farms and, and also slaughterhouses, but Going back to the art. So, I use my own blood. When I use my own blood, it's it's not just an expression of some me taking something within my mind and putting it on paper, putting it on canvas. I'm literally taking something from within myself and putting it into the external world in a form that I view as getting rid of the top soil layer of my, my conscious mind and revealing my subconscious. So there's two things going on here. One, I'm literally taking the inside of my body and creating art with it. Two, I'm using what's in my body to get to the deeper parts of my subconscious. So in idea form and in you know, psychosomatic form, I guess you could say, not psychosomatic, what's the word? Psychoanalytical, psychoexpressive, something like that. <laughs> um, it's, it's a process of trying to figure out what's in my subconscious, because a lot of the, t and then it's also me taking the inside of my body and, put, and making art with it. But here's, here's the key factor. When I, before I do like, uh, when I, before I do a blood painting, the vast majority of the time, I don't plan out what I'm going to paint. I just start painting. At some point, I'll show, I'll do another one of these videos where I show all the blood paintings I've made. I've made dozens, but, or I, I'll show a lot of them. Um, but I don't plan out what I'm going to paint. I just start doing it. And, you know, I start out with a small shape and then I expand it and I expand it and I expand it. I open up as much as I can. I get past my conscious mind as much as I can and open up, open up a gateway to my subconscious and just use my insight, to just use my subconscious, just try to create from that fount within my own mind without trying to represent something externally or planning out what I'm going to paint. Um, that's, it's, it's beautiful for three reasons. Um, well, it's, it's effective at showing my subconscious and what I'm thinking about what I'm trying to deal with and the beauty there as well, uh, by not planning, um, 
and uh, you know, using the elements of my body. I've actually thought of making brushes out of some of my own hair. <laughs> I I think that I could lose a little bit. <laughs> it wouldn't be that bad. I think that I could make a brush. Um, I I know how to use tools well enough, and I know how to carve well enough to where I can make a brush out of my own hair. I think that would be a good a good idea as well. I actually just thought of that. Um, this is kind of one of those videos where I'm just kind of like, just free form, even more so than usual. Usually when I do videos, I have a topic. It's not like my blood paintings where I'll have a topic where I, you know, I have ideas. I have a sequence of points I'm going to make. Um, this is kind of more just a free form talking one. Um, but for some reason, the, you know, there, these are some of the reasons why I paint with my own blood, but it's, it's a very satisfying process for me. It's not so much the pain. By the way, if you if you don't know anything about blood, if you're painting with it, which a lot of people might not know, um, you can use a piercing needle. For instance, I did a blood painting tonight. Can you see any holes in that finger? Can you tell which fingers I have holes in? None. I use this finger. Piercing needle. If you don't continue the pressure on that after using, you know, use a tat, not a not a tattoo piercing needle, a uh, ear piercing needle. You can order them on Amazon. I don't recommend d doing this to yourself, uh, using your own blood to paint or piercing yourself. By the way, I'm not recommending it. I'm just saying what I do. But if you don't apply constant pressure, then the blood's going to stop. Then the blood's going to stop coming out very quickly. And unless you're drinking alcohol, you're going to stop bleeding. So it's not like you can. I can use about. I can use about 15 drops of blood to make a pretty good size blood painting. If I'm making a small one, I only need about seven. Um, it doesn't, it, a few drops of blood go a long way, especially if you're not heavy handed with it and you're not just coating the canvas, but you're just doing, you know, fine lines or, you know, medium sized lines, things like that. And you have mainly the contrast of the, the canvas, whatever color it is, a lot of mine are white. Um, I've done on some that aren't, but usually it's white. Usually the, the background is white in my blood paintings. Um, it's a very satisfying process. It doesn't take a lot of blood and it's blood kind of reflects in a way that because it has, we have iron in our blood. So it's very stark because of the blood color. Cause our, our brains are drawn to it. They're like, what is that? When we see that blood color, also the iron, it's shiny. If you if you look at it at an angle in the light, it shines. It makes it very it makes it very ma magnetic, magnetic, literally, as um, as a pigment to to um, create art with as a as a as a color and a substance to create art with as a, as a paint to create art with I suppose. It makes it drawing to the eye. It has all those meanings for me. And it's a very satisfying process. Um, those are all kind of the reasons why I paint with my own blood. Um, it's uh, it's something that I that I kind of learned over time. I just kind of started doing it randomly years back, and uh, it's it always feels like I'm diving into my subconscious. I'm scratching the surface of my conscious mind. I'm taking part of myself and putting it out into the world, and that's a that's a it's kind of an extension of my mad, you know, my magical abilities as well. A lot of my blood paintings have are sigils or runes, and they're empowered with my blood. So that had so a very strong magical element for a lot of mine. I've been talking about mostly about the artistic side and the, you know the psycho psychoanalytical side, but very blood is very important for me as a blood magician as well, and uh, in a lot of the magic that I do, um, it's very it empowers the magic. It, it gives it some your own vibration. Um, I wouldn't recommend giving your blood to other people <laughs> unless you trust them a lot. That's why I, you know, if I'd use blood for my sigils or, or magic and these blood paintings, I don't plan on giving them away or selling them. That's very important for a magician and a blood, blood magician, um, uh, who's, who knows the power of blood. But yes, so, uh, those are kind of the, kind of my thoughts on, uh, why I paint with my own blood. And, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this little talk. Uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up down there. It really helps out the channel. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, shoot them down the comment section below on YouTube. Once again, I'm not recommending that you do this, that you paint with your own blood, but this is what I do. And uh, you can share this video wherever you want. 
even though it's a little controversial. At any rate, thank you very much for watching. I love all of you and all of you. Have a wonderful day.